Welcome. I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotif. We're an official Salesforce partner, and we teach small businesses how to automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a flow that automatically changes the status of an account when an opportunity closes. This is an automation that we built many times for our clients, and it's really great for making sure that your data is up to date in Salesforce. A lot of companies have all sorts of different accounts in their system, which is actually a good thing. You know, some of the accounts are prospects, some are customers, some are former customers, some are competitors, so on and so forth. On the account object, there's a standard field called type where you can designate what type of account that is. Now there's a simple automation that you can build to help keep that data up to date. So essentially what we want to have happen is we want accounts to be a prospect by default. And then once you have a closed one opportunity, those accounts should automatically change from prospect to customer. The first step for us doing this is setting prospect as the default value for the type field on the account object, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. And once we have that, we'll then need to create an automation that is triggered by an opportunity. So whenever an opportunity closes, that'll be the trigger. And then it'll go to the related account and update that type field, changing it from a prospect or whatever it happened to be to a customer. It's a pretty straightforward automation to create, and it's a really good way to get introduced to flows and how that tool works. So step one, let's make sure that the type field has prospect as a default value. To do that, go into the setup menu here, click on object manager, and then pull up the account object. You can search for it in the quick find, or you can just click it right there. Click on fields and relationships, and then find the type field. This is a default field, so you should already have it. But if you don't, you could always create a new pick list field and it'll work the same way. You scroll down here, we have the different values for this type field. And there's a checkbox next to each one that says default. So I'm going to edit the prospect value. And I'm going to check that box. So that is now default. Now this is not going to automatically change the value uh, for the type field in records that already exist. It's really only going to apply to future records. So as you start converting leads into accounts, or if you create a new account manually, it's going to set prospect in that value and unless you change it. Now that we've got that, let's build out our automation. In the quick find, I'm going to search for flow then click new flow in the upper right hand corner. And the first thing we're presented with here is to choose a type of flow. We've got a couple different options. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, just know that for this particular automation, we want a record triggered flow because it's when an opportunity record is updated to be closed one that we want to trigger the automation to update the related account. Select that, hit create. And now we're presented with the start settings, the start parameters. So the first thing it's asking is what object are we concerned with? So that's going to be opportunity. Go ahead and search for that. And then when we want the trigger to fire, when the record's created, updated, created or updated, or record is deleted. In this case, I'm going to say when a record is created or updated, because it is possible that somebody would create an opportunity and immediately set it as closed one when they're creating it. Maybe you're importing records or, or something else along those lines. It's probably going to be a little bit rare. Most of the time it'll be an update action because the opportunity would have been open for a while before it was closed one. Uh, but we'll select both here, uh, just in case. And then the conditions, these we need to set. So we need to set these conditions. And the most important one is the stage. So I'm going to select stage. And when it's stage equals closed one. Now you might have multiple stages that equal closed one. Most companies don't most, most just have one. Uh, but if you do, um, just be aware of that and add additional rules here so that any of those values that might be considered closed one, uh, are being referenced here so that the flow triggers and updates the related account. You also have the option of using the checkbox. It's a hidden checkbox called one on opportunities. And if that was true, then that could also trigger the automation. In my case, stage name equals closed one. That looks good. Next option is when do we want to run the flow for the updated records? Every time a record is updated and meets the condition or only when a record is updated to meet the condition. We only want this to run when it's first marked as closed one. Somebody else comes back and edits the opportunity, but they don't change the stage. We don't need it to run again. Now we can also choose to optimize the flow for fast field updates or actions and related records. 
we're not updating the opportunity that's triggering the flow. We're updating a related record. So we want to choose the second option here. Click done. Our next step here is to hit the little plus sign to add an element to update a record. So now we're going to update the account. Click update records and give it a name. Uh, you want these to be as descriptive as possible. So I'm going to call this update account type to customer. That's going to be really easy to understand later if somebody is looking back through this flow and is trying to comprehend what, what we created here. Next thing to choose is how we're going to find the record that we want to update. So select the third option to specify conditions to identify the record and set fields individually. We haven't done anything previous to this step to create record variables or set fields within our flow yet. So we're going to do all of this in one action in this update step. That's why we're choosing the third option here. Under object, choose account. And the first thing it's asking us is to identify which record we want. Well, we want a record of a specific ID. We want one record. And the easy way to, to get that is to reference the opportunity that started our flow. Because every opportunity must be related to an account. Well, we can just pull that account ID from the opportunity so we know we're updating the right account in the system. If opportunities weren't related to accounts directly, then we would have to guess which account was right, and that could certainly cause some problems. So select ID under the field section. The operator is gonna stay equals. And then for the value, we've got all of these resources to choose from. The one that we want is dollar sign record. And it says opportunity right underneath it. Dollar sign record is a special variable that's always available in record triggered flows. And it saves all the values from the record that triggered the flow. It's very convenient. Uh, cause most of the time, if you're having a record trigger an automation, you probably need to reference back to data on that record. So we've got it right here. You also have record prior, um, which is not the one we want. In this case, we just want the record by itself, just above it. Select that. This is going to take us to a new menu item where you can see all of the fields and related objects. You could choose account at the very top and then navigate to the related account record to choose your ID field there. But it's actually a little bit faster if we scroll down a bit and you can see account ID field uh, is pretty close to the top. So I'm going to select that. So what this is saying is give me the account whose ID is equal to the ID value that's saved in the account field on the opportunity that started the flow. Don't worry if that's confusing. We've only got a few more steps. The last thing we need to do is set field values for the account record. So we've found the account that we want with our previous step. Now let's choose a field so we can update it. In our case, all we want is the type field and we want the value for that to be customer. You can see here, because it's a pick list, it pulls in the pick list values automatically for us. So I'm just going to choose customer. Hit done. And that's it. I'm going to click save. And you always want to give a flow a descriptive name because you're going to end up building a lot of these different automations. It's, it can be difficult to find the one that you're looking for. So I like to start with the name of the object that triggered this automation, in this case, opportunity, and then a dash, and then what it's doing. So opportunity dash update account when closed one. Click save. Now we can debug the flow and we can also activate it. I'm going to click activate for now, and then I'll show you how that works. So to test this, we need to find an account which whose type equals prospect, then we'll update an opportunity to be closed one and see if that updates our account. I brought up the blouse bar in here, click on details. Right now the type field is blank. So it, it actually doesn't have to be prospect in order for this automation to work. It could be anything, uh, but just for a good example, I'm going to set it to prospect for now. Click save. Then we have our open opportunity on the right hand side. I'm going to change that to closed, closed one. Now, if we go back to the account, we'll see that the type has automatically been updated. It now says customer. So it's a simple automation, but it's really going to help improve your data over the long term because nobody has to go back and update an account when they become a customer. When an opportunity is closed one, it'll automatically update that account 
changing it from whatever it was, hopefully a prospect, now into a customer. You can extend the same automation and use it in a lot of different ways. If you're a company that has subscriptions, like a, like a software company uh, or a services company, perhaps you have an opportunity that ends up being closed lost. You could change the type then from customer to former customer or something along those lines. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.